Well then welcome folks. So, a little while back I did a very similar video to this one for Elite Dangerous. Now, uh, context to this is essentially a simple one. Once a game reaches a certain uh, level of community support and there are plenty of people playing it, there are always the bad actors that pop up. The sort of a scum that you want to take and hit in the ball sack repeatedly with a sledgehammer as much as possible for a couple of days at least. Now, that aside, uh, let's take a look at some stupid shit, as uh, usually it goes. Now, I'm known not to particularly like the monetary practices within Star Citizen, but this is the case where I, I'm trying to protect the folks from being completely and utterly stupid by basically falling into a trap of someone else that is not about the game, is not about the quality of it, but just exploiting others. So... Let's take a look at real money trading for Star Citizen! And lo and behold, we have plenty of offers in fucking eBay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy! Okay, so for those that are in need of a refresher, Star Citizen knows almost all games has its own internal currencies. There's UEC, REC, SPEC, FLEC, COCK and MOCK, and COM as well, probably. Right? Well, anyways. Today, we'll focus on UEC and AUEC. Basically, these currencies are the same. You'd use them to buy ships, upgrades, guns, and whatnot, like your normal currencies. This is basically the base money. The difference is that for the period of time when Star Citizen is in ALF and gets developed, with no end in sight, it seems, you get to use the AUEC as the temporary currency. Once the game is supposed to go live as a full released game, they would reset accounts, as far as I know, and you would from then on use the UEC. Since in Alpha State your accounts tend to get wiped, reset and molested sometimes, clearly getting attached to your credits is pretty dumb. So yes, it's a good thing that they make a distinction between the testing currency and the real one. Now, to make things even more pay to win as it already is with all the ship purchases for real money, Star Citizen even sells extra UEC credits on its own, and it's disgusting. But at least you get a guarantee that this money spent on this currency will be given to you if the game ever gets real release. Plus, you get to spend the same amount in alpha version as well. As for the scum-sucking cunts, otherwise known as the gold sellers, these pieces of shits are only selling the AUAC. And to those that are unaware or just did not pay attention, even today, despite persistence promises, alpha state of Star Citizen tends to lose and or reset your account. In fact, that happens a bit too often for my liking. So, basically, at random stages, you may just see everything you've worked for gone. So tell me, is buying fake cash for unstable and unreliable projects from some rando wankers on the internet a smart move? Temporary and oh my god, somebody sold even more of this stuff. <laughs> Why? Why do you buy this? And this is even worse deal than the previous guy. Jesus Christ! No! <laughs> Why? Why do you... <laughs> Free international shipping. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me right now? What is this stuff? Oh. Clearly not a very smart move. In fact, you are the only one getting abused. Because these fucks hide behind the package reselling policy trick that, to my knowledge, only refers to selling packages, or rather reselling them, not the in-game gold, I mean crusty cum credits, at this point these fucks are playing in a very, very grey area. And you know what, let's take a quick look at the reselling policy and you may get a glimpse of what developers' attitudes are. Some citizens have uh, been operating uh, trading services offering uh, lifetime uh, insurance packages either at uh, cost or profit. Other limited ships, like the Vandal, blah blah blah, have begun to appear in auction sites, while we uh, applaud these willing to spend their time to sell additional packages and help more players join the game, we do not have resources or the ability to support the practice. Okay, well, they're talking about just supporting such a thing, so if you do it, you do it on your own. All right. Well, we recognize that many players are doing this to support the game. It's not really supporting the game, but anyways. The 
potential uh, for ab abuse is too great. We need to keep players as safe as possible from scammers. Which means the blocking uh, the advertising uh, for this practice from RSI hosted uh, community areas. Uh, your ships and packages are yours, and do as you uh, please, and uh, there is no intention of uh, removing the packages uh, gifting, uh, uh, package gifting process. However, we must require that you do not buy or sell them through the official forums. So, basically, the attitude of developers is... Who cares if you get scammed, you dumb fuck? Your problem! As long as it's not done on our websites, we literally don't give two shits what you do! And frankly, I was surprised to see this kind of an attitude. Most games tend to frown upon the so-called gold farmers or even account sellers. In fact, the only one that I know that outright does not deny it is Star Citizen. And frankly, that disgusts me even more. But hey, then again, they themselves are selling the fucking in-game credits for real money, so I guess they're not looking like hypocrites at the very least, but fuck me. But hey, I got 38 suckers to buy into this fucking thing. So screw them. I'm, a, I'm, I'm just gonna grind out the fucking credits and make money out of your stupid fucks. So don't, obviously, buy this stuff. Okay, so here's the point. Do not support the gold farmers. They are all fucking scum. Star Citizen is a very unstable and even with persistence promise, the account resets or wipes happen. So just due to that simple fact, never buy credits. And in my snarky way, I can say that there's not much to do in the alpha is not until the much later, but even so, if there is something to do, it's certainly not worth stressing over credits for. If you need the ship to test or look at, go to reddits, forums, join discord servers and ask people if they'd like to share their ships with you for a while. Among the horribly zealous cultists, there are nice folk around, and hey, maybe making a friend is a better idea than going and paying some fuck on the internet for a fart in the face! And hey, if you liked the video, maybe click on that subscribe button. Better yet, maybe check out my Patreon and support my work there, instead of paying these wank toasts. If nothing else, at least I make something that lasts longer than a month. But that aside, I know that there are other uh, sites for this sort of a shit. So how about this? You share the video instead, and maybe at least the message, and be smarter. Don't feed the scum of the gaming communities like these.